Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of May, May 15th through May 31st reading. Generally these are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Taurus. If you're interested in an Instago reading, if you have Apple iPhone, you know the link is right below. You'll have an answer within 24 hours. 10 bucks. I am offering a quick little special right now, but it's only for one day, so I'm not going to mention it. But if you would like um, a longer reading, you know, a video reading, then the information, you can find that on my website or my Facebook page. This is for the sign of Taurus for the end of May. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Fool! You're a fool, Taurus. You're a fool. <laughs> Talking to myself here. Talking to myself. All right. So um, try not to be a fool, okay? Don't let somebody take advantage of you. But here we have um, you do need to take a risk. It's time to start a new journey. With, you know, take a, have a, take a leap of faith with something. You know, don't bring the past with you on this new journey. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard when you've always had to defend yourself. And I feel like you may be still feeling like you need to defend yourself or you're on the defensive. Maybe you have just embarked on a new journey and you're, you're, you're you know, you may be overly cautious, put it that way. Yeah, the thing is, you've been emotionally disappointed in the past. There's been so much hurt, right? I mean, there has. Here yeah, we have the Five of Cups. I mean, the, the, the thing is, is that we have the Two of Cups upright right here. You have an opportunity for love. Don't let the past struggles, the past fights, the past drama come with you into this new relationship, this Two of Cups that is, is right here for you, okay? Don't let the past hold you back, okay? You don't have to defend yourself anymore, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Let your guard down. Just try. Try to let your guard down. You know, this here we have the Hermit. It feels as though, you know, you guys have really taken the time to figure out what you want. You've done your soul searching, you've done your inner work, you've taken that time out, you've been isolated long enough, and you've been through that period of loneliness and midlife crisis, and now it's time to come out of your shell. Okay, you learned. You learned through that period, and if you haven't done that yet, then now is the time. Many of you may be still going through this period of focus and planning, you know, restraining yourself from the outside world or isolating yourself from the outside world to soul search, to step back, to become self-aware of who you are, where you're going, who you want, what you're doing, you know, the whole nine yards. That's what the hermit does. The hermit takes that time out to become aware of the future, what what the plan is, okay? So I feel like now that you have done the work or you're doing the work, the next step is to actually take that step, okay? Take that step. Even though you've come up with a plan, the plan always can go awry, right? It can because you're not, you can't always control things. But you can't let the fear of taking a risk hold you back, okay? It's time to take that risk. That's what I'm trying to say. We have some Two of Cups energy here that is waiting for you if you would stop concentrating on the loss, the hurt, the unhappiness. You know, somebody has, has felt weak. They've lost their courage and their confidence. And it's, it's because they've been overpowered in the past. They've always had to fight. I've always had to fight. Therefore, now I feel my self-esteem, my self-worth, my self-confidence isn't where it needs to be. You know, it's time to be happy again. You're being offered an opportunity for happiness. This Two of Cups is love. 
and happiness. But you need, to do, you need to stand up for yourself. Do not let this past person who overpowered you and hurt you, caused emotional hurt, keep you so guarded that you don't let this Two of Cups happiness into your life. It's, it's you know, the, here we have the, the King of Wands. It's time to focus. Get creative. Hold your head up high. Follow your passion. Get excited about this new journey. You've come up with a plan. Now you just have to go do it. Like a boss. Be the boss of your own life. Whoever this person is that controlled you is not the boss. You're the boss. Be the boss of your own life. Follow the plan that you have come up with. Follow your dreams that you have dreamt. You're the boss. Nobody else. It's time to have some fun. If you haven't been dating, maybe you need to get out there and start dating. Either way, you need to let your friends help you. Go out with your friends. Involve yourself with other people. Go have some fun. Celebrate your life as it is right now. Don't let your hurt pride or your hurt ego because of rejection hold you back. To start this new journey, you this is a new spiritual journey. You, you step into the unknown with faith. And when you go out and date and when you go out and have fun, it's the same thing. You step into the unknown with faith. So for those of you that are being held back by somebody that, you know, made you defend yourself and made you fight and, you know, the whole nine yards. Don't let that hold you back from having fun now. It's, it's a time of happiness and celebration, okay? Don't let fear hold you back. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. The Knight of Swords upright is no fear. Somebody is letting fear hold them back from being happy. Fear of, of fighting, fear of drama, fear of criticism. Somebody was criticized in the past so much that they've lost their self-esteem and self-worth. And now they fear letting themselves be happy because they might have to do it again. Yeah, there's a lack of confidence. Now we have the Queen of Queen of Wands reverse. There's lack of confidence, lack of courage, lack of self-esteem and self-worth, just like I said. Somebody that is watching this is needs to relight that spark within them. At the end of this month, it, you have an opportunity for happiness. It's a mind over matter game. Get creative. Go have fun. Be happy with yourself right now. Take a risk. Let the past go. Don't bring it with you. Don't let the, the regrets and hurt your pride. I can see that somebody's pride has been hurt, so they feel like they're not worthy. That's part of the game. Whoever made you feel that way is still in control if you are letting them control you. They are. If you're letting them control your happiness by not going out, by not having fun, by crying about it, by not mastering your emotions, by letting fear take over, then they are still in control of you. Somebody is feeling miserable. We have the Queen of Wands reversed. When they have an opportunity to be happy, it's mind over matter. You don't need to fight. You don't need to fight for a fight anymore. Okay, those days are over. You don't need to. Yes, I t the heartache is over. Yeah, you may still be hurting. You know, it takes time to heal. But the worst is over. 
It's over. It's time for you to start a new journey. Take care of yourself. Go out and have some fun. Celebrate this new beginning. That's what it is. It's a new beginning. There's no need to cry about it. I know that many people do, okay, with a strength card reversed. There's no need to mope and cry. And the, I mean, there is a certain, to a certain extent, but you can't let it consume your life. Three is a number of healing. Three, three. It's time to let yourself heal. Suffering brings true growth. That's what happened here. Look at it like that. You've grown through this process of, you know, having to stand up for yourself. You've learned to take care of yourself. But now it's time to be happy. There's no need to fight anymore. I already told you this. Okay, we have the five of wands. There's no need. No need for all this tension. No need for all this conflict. There's no need to compete with anybody. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Fives are power struggles and conflicts. Five, five. You, let go of the mental power struggles, the inner fight. Focus on happiness only, Taurus. Get creative. Another three. So now we have three threes. It's about healing. Many of you are going through a healing process. And your, and your, your reward is in sight. It is in sight. Okay? Focus on the future, not the past. Let the past go completely. Look at it like this. You're starting a new journey fresh. Okay, if you think about this Fool card, this Fool card, the Fool is the first card in the deck. Some people say it's the last. I say it's the first. And most people say it's the first, but it doesn't, I don't really care what they say. Anyhow, um, the Fool, um, what's in his back? Oh, he's starting his new journey, okay? And all that he is taking with him is what's in that bag. And what's in that bag right there? is his past lives, his past life experiences, okay? He's got the experiences, but he's, but he's not letting them hold him back. He's stuffed them in the bag, you know, crumpled them up, whatever, stuffed them all in the bag, and he's going on his journey with faith and trust. He's, you know, he's not bringing any extra clothes. He, he knows that he will be provided for. He knows he's starting the journey, and he's going to have faith that everything will be all right. That's the first card that came out for your pull. Start this new journey with faith. Whatever it is at the end of this month, the main message is start this new journey with faith and take very little past baggage with you. Yeah, it's there. It's there. It's deep down. You learned from it. But that doesn't mean that you have to be resentful for it. That doesn't mean you still have to fight about it yourself. You don't need to fight the other person. You don't need to struggle over it. You know, it's time to be happy. That's what I'm trying to say. True suffering brings true growth. And that's what has happened here. Focus on your future. Because look at how bright that future is. This is the future card. Look how bright this is. This is the brightest card we've had yet. The future is bright if you would stop letting mental conflict and mess with you. The future is bright. Your reward is in sight. Your ships are coming in. Your prayers are being answered. Believe it or not, three, 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 your prayers are being answered. Okay? They've been heard. Three, 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 your prayers have been heard. Three, three, three. Yes, you've suffered. Rewards are coming. If, if you have faith. You have to be patient. Don't give up. Be patient. You may see, feel like you've wasted years. Maybe you feel like you've wasted seven years. Maybe you feel like you've wasted three years. Either way, many of you feel like you've wasted time. I've wasted years. That was a karmic contract that needed to end. It ended because it was over. It, the debt has been paid. 
and now you are being called to keep focusing on your future, okay? On the on the main goal, right? What's the main goal? What's the main goal, Taurus? The main goal is happiness, right? Just because something didn't work out doesn't mean that you will be unhappy for the rest of your life. Somebody is feeling emotionally, this is the Knight of Cups or the Page of Cups. This is the Page of Cups reversed. They have shut themselves off. They're unhappy. There's no need to, to make yourself emotionally unavailable because one contract with another person didn't work out. I believe that there is some sort of reward coming in for you after a period of suffering. I believe that we do have the Two of Cups energy here. Okay, with the Five, this is the Five of Cups, but if you notice, I noticed it right away. These Two of Cups are standing upright pretty firmly. That's the Two of Cups. There is a, a love interest right here, right here in front of you, or right next to you, close by. But if you are only focusing on the loss and the hurt and the despair and the anguish and everything that happened, then you certainly aren't going to get this happily ever after, Two of Cups. And that's where this self-awareness comes in. Are you aware of what you are missing out on by focusing on the loss? By focusing on the hurt? By focusing on what you've been through? That was just another lesson learned. Okay, it was. It, it Everything is divinely orchestrated. Sevens is the number from heaven. Seven, seven. Okay, so this, whatever happened was meant to be. Look at it like that. I feel like the end of this month, there's an opportunity for the two of cups for love. If you would let your guard down. And not bring the past with you. One karmic contract has ended. And there's no going back. It's time for you to start a new journey. That's all there is to it. Look at it as a time of freedom, a time of happiness, a time of fun. Get out there with your friends. Go go have some fun. This one fell out. Rest. That's what you've been doing, right? And maybe you need to rest some more. Sometimes you do. Rest and relax. Release guilt. And make your needs a top priority. Wonderful. Do whatever you got to do to release that guilt. Because you're not bringing it with you to the future. So Taurus, this is what I have for the end of May. There's an opportunity for love here. Should you let your guard down and not bring the past with you. It's like your prayers have been heard. And your future looks bright. Talk to you later.